Okay, guys. Part 12. Here we go. All right. Uh, this is Lily, the baby from Modern Family. All right. We touch on Modern Family a lot because they just pack their shit full of symbolism. I watched the wedding episode the other day. And if you <laughs> it was just non-stop, two-part episode of just running around trying to make it to the wedding, right? Just like the wedding movies. They're all the same story. This is pointed out to me by Mac. Okay, the Bride of Christ, the wedding. That's what it was about. And I suggest you guys watch the wedding episodes where the gay guys get married, okay? Lily, our little goddess. She has a C right here on her high chair. And she has one on the other side. <laughs> and then her head in the middle, okay? So little Lily is a little 33. It was Al Bundy with Jay in the show, right? And uh, he's trying to fit in at the party he doesn't want to be at. The pentagram party. <laughs> uh, nobody notices this stuff, you guys. It's, uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. I didn't notice it for 35 years. And uh, I forget what commercial this is. It's on all the time, though. But you see this commercial has a the computer has a square and compass on it. And so does the wall compass and the square. Just like all the sitcom living rooms do too. Okay. This is uh during the VMAs last year. This is a Trojan commercial, I believe. Where we get this cute one eyed reaction at the end of the rubber commercial. <laughs> and there's Gwen on the red carpet. That's her move, her one eye move. I've seen her do it a few times. She's doing it like the other night at the Grammys. Which Madonna? Come on, give it a break, lady. Oh, she made me nervous. I thought her leg was gonna fall off or some shit. I think I've shown South Park Church more than once, but <laughs> as you can see, they got a pillar theme going here in the church and uh, I guess that's probably compass and squares up here I don't know if those are squares and squares or circles and squares yeah. knowing South Park it's circles and squares alright here's a dumb new show Cristela well, I don't know if it's dumb I won't watch it but uh, maybe I should <laughs> they use the Google colors here Kabbalah colors I always got to say both now. I'm self-conscious about yelling Google. <laughs> Alright, this actually made it into the last video. The eight-pointed sun and the pillars and the 33 and all that in Mr. Woodman's office. Okay, the vice principal at Buchanan High. Oh, and here's cute little Alex from Modern Family. She's the little nerd chick, right? got this peace sign on her sweater which we know is a cube inside the circle so it's a compass and square and it's also made up of these eight pointed goddess star flower things she's a blue goddess she's the smart one right the responsible one okay Bruce Almighty we see Bruce here in between the pillars Okay, with the arch behind him, this is the sun window, you can see just like these, his head is blocking the sun. And he's a newscaster, he's blocking, he's blocking the knowledge, the light. JC. <laughs> Alright, this is if I wanted to buy the complete her season of Welcome Back Cotter. Which I would, but it's fucking expensive, man, it's on TV every day, so... Anyways, we got Washington, Epstein, Cotter, Horshack, and Barbarino, right? We've got our Google Kabbalah colors here. Barbarino focusing on one eye here with the purple and the clock behind him. Hmm. So, 
Barbarino is enlightened, apparently. <laughs> All right, I think I showed this a long time ago, an episode of the Bundys, right? Kelly got a commercial and a bug spray, her uh, exterminator commercial. First thing we'll notice with Kelly, I should have got a better look at her earrings, probably. But we got a CC graffiti on the wall in the background here. 33. And she's red, so she's the red lady, of course. She's a superhero, so she's also a fallen angel of some kind, probably. She's got the V. Okay. For the goddess, the split legs, the fifth age, the five, whatever you want to call it. Okay. I do believe it stands for all those things. And if we look at her belt buckle, let's see if I got a better picture of it. First of all, Joe Bob Briggs here is our guest star. Are you dead? 42. Now we know 42 is an occult number. 42 names of God, or uh, 42 letters in the unspeakable name of God, um, 42 months of the Antichrist reign, all this stuff, right? So, I don't know. Here's your 42. <laughs> now. She's locked in here with bugs, and I see uh, goddesses and bugs connected kind of often, actually. I suggest the movie Phenomena, which I believe is on YouTube. Not John Travolta Phenomena, Jennifer Connelly Phenomena. Or look it up as Creepers. It's an Italian horror movie filmed in Switzerland. If you love horror movies, it is a badass movie. Okay. There's our belt buckle, our pentagram. Not that great a picture of it, I know, but that is an inverted pentagram on her belt. And here's the Bundy home, where we have our two pillars, these lights, with the sun clock gateway in the middle, okay. And there's other symbols in the Bundy home. Uh, I wasn't sure what to make of the New Market Maulers. Um, you know, they've got the octagon, or the double square, right? So it's an eight-pointed star. It's got two pillars in it, these trees, and then a big one in the middle. So we've got that going on. The mall seems to be pretty much in the shape of an octagon, for that matter. Maybe a G. And the new market maulers. Well, we have a 33 here. Where the new fits in again, though. I don't know. There's nothing new under the sun. Just like the new girl. <laughs> I have to figure that one out. Damn, I know there's a decode there. Someone will help me out. You guys are good like that. Peggy on the couch. Okay, she's got her six pointed flowers with a circle in the middle. So that's really square and compass. And they're all over this couch. And there's eight pointed ones too. Peggy, our red lady. This is a commercial for Family Guy, and look at Stewie dancing inside this uh, sacred geometry, <laughs> right? Which has the cue ball over this sphere. So we got the compass and the square. Okay. Dancing away in the middle of it. Right? Cubes on the ceiling, cubes on the floor. <laughs> Interesting stuff. Here's Peggy as Saturn. <laughs> the Lady in Black. Uranium, what's up, man? You talked about the Lady in Black. You're supposed to uh, tell me what's up. Uh, Cotter again, which... Is this an okay sign with the hands? Maybe. No biggie, huh, guys? Oh, Epstein. Is that alright with you? It's okay with Epstein. He'll even yell it through his <laughs> six. <laughs> and, uh, here's one of the guys wearing pentagrams. They go up on one side of the suspenders and down on the other side of the pentagrams. And then we have the show The Bridge on FX. It came out last year, which I've never seen it. I don't think it lasted. Well, we have our two one-eyed characters here. There's a male and female, so that's our pillars also. The veil being lifted here. And it's also a road. Okay. And this reference to the bridge. 
guess really it's a Burlington. Going through the Red Sea, I don't know. The Honeymooners. I love this show, right? You know, they only made 39 episodes of this show. It is still on TV to this day. They were Masons. Old Ed and Ralph. Okay? They belong to the Raccoon Lodge. Here's their worshipful master. And I wish I could get a clearer picture of this demon on the back of this chair he sits in. But how weird is that in, in the 50s on TV, huh? Okay, and you can see the pillars in the back here for the lodge. And I'm not done, I'm not done. There's their secret handshake. <laughs> and here's their logo painted on the wall, which is awesome. Okay, firstly, you do have these pentagrams, okay? Upside down and right side up. The raccoon lodge, the O's, make the Pisces, or the third eye, right? And then, what else was I looking at on this thing? I don't know. But anyways, pretty badass. And I'm not sure, but I think more people knew what it meant back in the 50s. I, I think there was more common knowledge. I think masonry had a boom back then, really. And that's why we see so much symbols on stuff back in the 50s. <clears throat> and let's end this video here with Mr. South Park Taco. Okay? Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to make one more and get these loaded up, alright? Love you dudes and dudettes.